When I was in Anderson College, I was in chapel one day, and I heard Dean Olt say something that I've never gotten away from. In fact, it has tormented me down through the years. He said, if you don't schedule your time, you'll be a failure. I had a little talk with uh, <laughs> Pastor Rod the other day, and I said, you know, Pastor, at my age, I said, I have a difficult time to know hardly what to do next. Now, some are led directly to know whether to go in this store or, or go to see this person, but some of us are not led that uh, uh, well or by the Holy Spirit. We have to go maybe by situations and how we feel or how, you know, direction that we get. So uh, he listened to me and uh, very attentively, and he uh, saw me a day or two later and says, Hey, Dad, said, i got something here for you. I said, Oh, you have. So he unfolded a yellow sheet, you know, you, one of these yellow sheets. And he had a schedule there for me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> said, Now, you really don't have to abide by this, but I just thought, it, you know, you'd said something to me about it. That's right. So he started me out at 7 o'clock in the morning, which is, uh, that's fine. We, I usually get started a little sooner than that, you know. Mm -hmm. But by 7, and told me what to do here, then right down the line, down the line, it wasn't too tight a schedule, but I wound up about 10 o'clock at night and uh, bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> I looked it over and I, I yeah. thanked him for it. Yeah. <laughs> <She did. laughs> and really, uh, it, it's already, it means something to me because it takes me back to the time I spent in Anderson College when Dean Old said, <laughs> said, if you don't schedule your time, you'll be a failure. Well, I don't want to dwell on my failures or how much I've failed. I want to go from here what few days or weeks or months or years I have left and do the best that I can. Now, I'm going to get my wife to help me. She knows pretty well what I can do and what I can't do. So we will revise that schedule somewhat. I don't know that I'll take it back to him and show him, but uh, I believe he'll be happy to know there'll be some improvement, the Lord helping. So you, you're listening, you're going to listen to our speaker tonight, Pastor Rodney, who has a schedule. We know it, and these brethren to my right and to my left, they have their schedule. And I marvel at the work they get done, the Lord helping them. So let's pray as Pastor Rod brings a message tonight. 